Hello, I'm Kyle, and welcome back to Bedtime Verses with Kyle. Just a little poetry to help you get ready for bed. Tonight we have a new poet, Francis Beaumont, who's also a playwright, and will be doing some of his work on Folio Friday, 1584 to 1616. Another young fellow, and I believe he died the same year Shakespeare did. And this is a piece called On the Tombs in West... On the Tombs in Westminster Abbey. More of the death. Love and death, love and death. Not much, eh, not a lot on taxes here. Okay. On the tombs in Westminster Abbey. Mortality behold and fear. What a change of flesh is here. Think how many royal bones sleep within this heap of stones. Hence removed from beds of ease. Dainty fare and what might please. Fretted roofs and costly shows to a roof that flats the nose which proclaims all flesh is grass, how the world's fair glories pass. But there is no trust in health, in youth, in age, in greatness, wealth. For if such could have reprieved, those had been immortal lived. No, from this world's a snare, how the greatness is but care, how all pleasures are but pain, and how short they do remain. For here they lie, had realms and lands, that now want strength to stir their hands where from their pulpits sealed with dust they preach, in greatness is no trust. Here's an acre sown indeed, with the richest royalist seed, that the earth did e'er suck in since the first man died for sin. Here the bones of birth have cried, though gods they were, as men they died. Here are sands, ignoble things, dropped from the ruined sides of kings, with whom the poor man's earth being shown, the difference is not easily known. Here's a world of pomp and state, forgotten, dead, disconsolate. Think, then, this scythe that mows down kings, exempts no meaner mortal things. Then bid the wanton lady tread amid these mazes of the dead, and these truly understood, more shall cool and quench the blood than her many sports a day and her nightly wanton play. Bid her paint till day of doom, to this favor she must come. Bid the merchant gather wealth, the usurer exact by stealth, the proud man beat it from his thought, yet to this shape all must be brought. All right, Beaumont, you're pretty good. Some good reflections. You know, it's the same old thing. Ah, oh, you can't take it with you. We all die the same, blah, 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 which is true. But then he's like, yeah, bring that uh, arrogant lady. That'll sort her out. That's very funny. Do it. Be like, ah. And girls like walks in graveyards anyway, for whatever reason. Uh... Yes, yes. A little bit of cope. I mean, this thing's always cope. It's like, look at those wealthy people. They'll die one day. They will. They will. We all will. Fantastic. Thanks again for joining me for Bedtime Versus with Kyle. Like and subscribe, and there'll be new readings every weekday night at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Good night. Sleep tight.